42. When's your birthday? June the 2nd. I'm a crazy Gemini, like you said. <laughs> What up, YouTube? We are back in the den. Today's video is brought to you by Kendra G, famous TV and internet personality. She is now doing a sort of matchmaker deal on IG, and we're going to give her her flowers and all the credit where credit is due because she's blowing up. But we're not talking about Kendra G today. We're talking about the lady that she interviewed. So enough of hearing me talk. Let's get right into the video. Uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. How old are you, Angel? Uh, 42. 42, you have any kids? I do. I have uh, a grown, two grown kids. One's 23, one's 21, but I adopted two girls. They're twins, they're age 12. So adopted 12 um, twins, right? Yeah. Then you have, what's the other ages? Uh, 23 and 21. 23 and 21. So you have four kids? Yes. Were you married? No. No, okay. What do you do for a living, Angel? I'm a lifestyle influencer. So I do marketing and advertising for different beauty brands, fashion, um, anything like that, red carpet interviews. I work at Radio One. I work on television. So I do a lot. Okay. A whole bunch of nothing, what it sounds like. Let's get to it. This is Angel and in Deanna, 42. When's your birthday? June the 2nd. I'm a crazy Gemini, like you said. <laughs> get to it what kind of man are you looking for uh, i'm looking for a sugar daddy i want to be spoiled i'm being serious for real i am i um really uh feel like that i deserve it and i spoil my man as well too i work hard and i want a person that uh, can keep up with my lifestyle i'm an entrepreneur i'm really busy i'm high maintenance because i keep the maintenance up myself and i'm sick of doing it so i want somebody else to do it sugar daddy nope have but i've been treated very well by all my boyfriends so were they were they rich you don't gotta be rich no 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 they ain't rich but just you know able to um to afford the the fun things and the things that i like in life so, so when you spoiled give me an example you want somebody to pay your bills no i pay my own bills but i just want somebody that you know don't have to, when you want to travel that they can just, you know, fly you out. You enjoy their company. You guys can eat where you want to eat without a second guess. You know, you can get the bags that you want. You guys can save money and go to Europe. You know, you can just really just enjoy yourself without having to wait and save and hold on and all of that type of stuff. So, yeah. So he, he has to have money in order to do he, do need, he need to have some money, but he don't got to be rich. You don't have to be rich. You just need to be able to have some, um, some extra money. Okay. Um, can he have kids? Yeah, he can have kids. So pretty much, she just wants your money. You got to watch out. He can definitely have kids, yes. He can definitely have kids. No, somebody said I don't like her comment. I don't mind. Listen, I don't mind your comments. You guys can ask whatever you want to ask. The reason I asked did you ever date a rich guy, because I just always think that women say they want those type of guys, and they're really jerks. But that's why I was asking, like, is that more important to you? Like, are the material things more important to you? Can he have other girlfriends or do you want to be the only girlfriend? He can have other girlfriends. Oh, he can have other girlfriends. Yeah. I didn't say I want to get on here and get married. I said I want to come on here and get somebody that can spoil me. I can have a good time with. I've been locked down. I've been COVID. We ain't been able to travel. I'm ready to get it. And I'm don't really, I'm not, you know, wanting to pay to come and spend time with you. I want you to just take me and just treat me. And you're going to be spoiled as well. But I'm just saying, you know, so you don't have to be rich. Who can How? How? How's he going to be spoiled? I can take somebody to L.A., to Vegas, to Miami. You know, who can't take me on a little mini shopping spree so I can look exactly the way you want me to look and so we can have a good time. That's all. Angel said that's all. So what's some deal breakers for you then? Um, I do not like people or men that have um, mental health issues that do not handle them. So if you have any type of mommy issues or mental health problems or you are hurt or you got a lot of baggage that you haven't dealt with, I'm not the one because I will add to your problems because I'm not the one for those type of games. Oh, we can tell. Like hey, somebody has mental, mental health issues, you would add to their mental health issues? Because I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to really, really want you to go and get that taken care of. And people do not like for you to try to get them help when they have mental health issues that they haven't taken care of. So it adds to it. It makes it worse for them. You know, they. God damn, who does she talk a lot? Feel like you're attacking them when you tell them that you need to go 
you know, um, get some help. I ain't seen her but, breathe yeah. yet. Angel, when was your last relationship? Uh, last month. Why did you guys break up? Because I'm an entrepreneur and people think they like this life. They think it's fun. They love the flower. But when it gets down to the roots and the wintertime comes and, and the hustle really starts, they just, they can't keep up. They basically like, I thought this was a hobby. You're really trying to get the bag. You're really working till two o'clock in the morning. Like what you're doing right now, tired as fuck. That's me. You guys can tell what I can tell, right? I can almost tell these straight up lifestyle entrepreneurs. She's just doing this for the hype. And some niggas in the background, like, come to bed. Well, are you willing to make time for the relationship, though? I do. I, I, yeah, I am. But I'm not looking for, like, a relationship. I just really wanted somebody to have a good time with, somebody to travel with. Just catch a really good vibe. And if it turns into that, it does. But I'm definitely not. Like, I just got out of a relationship. So I'm not saying I want a relationship. Okay. Well, this is Angel. She's in Indiana. Um, does the guy got to be in Indiana? No, because I want to fly. So you don't want him to be in Indiana. Where do you prefer him to be? I definitely don't want him to be here. I'm all over this city. Everybody know me and know. And they on here right now. Mind your damn business. But um, no, he just needs to be anywhere but here. Okay, what's the age range you would date? <laughs> Melissa's stupid. Um, Like, a little younger girl. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas be tired, sleepy. I'm sick of it. So let's go with... She going younger because you know somebody her age ain't going... Um, 30 to 45. Basically, um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get you the Versace robe. You know, you're gonna get me the Versace swimsuit. We're gonna post up in the Jordans online. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm a score you. I'm gonna oh my god, no! for you too, because I, it's not that I can't spoil you back, but spoil me. Show me that you deserve to be in my presence. That's basically what it is because time is money. So while I'm fucking around with you, I could be doing, making some money. So if you're going to spend time with me, then make it worth my while. And then I'm going to spoil you. And of course, I'm going to spoil you with that. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, that's grown people stuff. Something that he can get anywhere. All over, you're going to be spoiled. Okay. And she also said between the ages of 30 to 45. And um, let's do what it do. All right, Angel. They saying they love your straightforwardness. Because everybody want it. I don't know why y'all scared to say it. Niggas will tell you right away, I want that motherfucking pussy straight up. Really? They will. And I will say, I'm going on vacation next week. But you want to join me? No, you're not joining me. You sent for me. Why would you join me? I can pay some of my girlfriends to come with me. So, like, where's the baby at? Is the baby on here? Somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what What are you offering this guy that he can't get anywhere else? You know? This this guy that you this mythical guy that you're looking for can get a a woman half your age and trick on her just like you're trying to get tricked on. Gotti, bossy, aggressive ass niggas look good, smell good. All the bitches want them, but I got them for the night. One of them. No, this is sad. This is honestly sad. I'm gonna tell you why this is sad because uh, on this channel we have a phrase called uh, jockeying for the thought position. And this is what you're seeing right here. This is a direct result of 20 to 30 years of women living the MTV BET culture and being stuck in a perpetual 20 year old state. If you seen a guy on the streets, 40, 50 years old, dressing like he's still 20 and, and not having a firm grasp on reality, this is what you're seeing in female form. Shame. So, Angel. <laughs> The baby was like the worst example. So you want a guy that doesn't want to be committed to you? I don't want to commit right now. So that's fine. Okay. Everybody don't want to be in a marriage and in a commitment right now. So I do not know. Man, like she has a choice. Do you really have a choice? See, that's, this is also the delusion that, that goes along with living the lifestyle as her and ladies like her have lived. You know, she's going to live through her 20s, party through her 20s, party through her 30s, like the like the, the Generation X's probably told her, and then figure that she can come get a man whenever she please. But I guarantee you that she she's realizing that she's not going to get the man that she thought she can get at this age. So, therefore, I'm going to act like a petulant child, like a 20-year-old 20 20 year Tatiana, to, to hold on to my youth so I can get tricked on. It's sad. Who as fine as sexy as friends? That you have sex with and have a good time with. Hell yeah. 42 right, years listen, old. She is straightforward. She is holding nothing back. If y'all want to get to know April, excuse me, Angel, 
It's between the ages of 35, 30 to 45. Give them your IG name. Angel underscore Stark 78. All right, girlfriend, you know you got to keep me posted and see how this goes. She's I'm going to hit you back up. up. Well, you, you oh. <laughs> Somebody just said, hey, you want to go to Miami next week? Hell yeah. Hey, girl, I got to <laughs> No, 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 no. no. Back. Ooh, he's fine. This shit. Fellas, you know just like I know, she's all she's good for is this. <sighs> it's really the bomb your show. Well, wait a minute. Who said something about age forty two? Hold on, at forty two. See, how, see how triggered she got. Please, I love it. Oh, okay, girl, she, I got to go. Ooh, I, Cause you know when they bite, I bite back. I thought she was saying something smart. She knows. She knows she hit the wall. Everybody, this is this is why this is a defense mechanism. She knows she's stuck. She's living the life, the entrepreneurial life, you know, pretty much probably making middle income. And there's no nothing for her to do but try to find some kind of young guy to blow her back out until she's of that age where nobody wants to deal with her. But, hey, it is what it is. But, hey, cherry black girl, I love it, honey. And, and you see the girl put the battery in her back and um, egging her on. That's the problem with some of these ladies. Y'all won't hold each other accountable. Fellas, these are the same women that says they want protection from you, but out here acting like that. Protection doesn't always come in the form of um, some, f helping you fight somebody or fighting some off, somebody off of you. Sometimes it's telling you that acting like this isn't really good for your look. But it is what it is. Guys, you've seen it just like I did. The delusion is real, you know. These ladies want to live the city girl lifestyle up until their 40s and 50s. Fellas, stay far away from ladies like this. I really think there's no saving them now. All right, I'm going to let that be it for today's video. I appreciate it, guys. If you like this video, you know what to do. Catch me back here next time. Peace.